Welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we track the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Breaking news has just landed from Boeing's financial front, and it's sending shockwaves through the aerospace industry. The company's January 23rd report reveals a staggering $400 million loss on their Starliner program in just the fourth quarter, another heavy blow to their space division. Since 2019, Boeing's trajectory has taken a dramatic turn. The aerospace giant that once commanded America's skies is now struggling to keep its space ambitions airborne. While SpaceX continues to make history with successful Dragon launches, Boeing's Starliner sits grounded, facing delay after delay. What's really happening behind Boeing's closed doors? How did this aerospace titan end up in such turbulent territory? And what does this mean for the future of American spaceflight? Let's dive right in. The numbers tell a stark story. Boeing's latest financial report reveals a $400 million loss on Starliner in just the fourth quarter. But this figure barely scratches the surface of a deeper crisis that's been years in the making. To understand how America's premier aerospace company reached this critical juncture, we need to look at the perfect storm that's been brewing since 2019. Back in the golden days of the 2010s, Boeing was posting record profits. Their commercial aviation division was thriving, their defense contracts were solid, and their space program seemed poised to compete head-to-head -head with SpaceX in the new commercial space race. But beneath this gleaming exterior, cracks were beginning to form. The first major tremor came with the 737 MAX disasters. Two devastating crashes claimed 346 lives, exposing fatal flaws in Boeing's flight control systems and revealing something even more troubling, a corporate culture that had begun prioritizing profit over safety. The investigations that followed painted a disturbing picture of corner cutting, regulatory manipulation, and a systematic breakdown in quality control. The MKS system at the heart of the 737 MAX crisis wasn't just a technical failure. It was a symptom of a company that had lost its way. Former Boeing engineers began speaking out about a shift that occurred after the 1997 McDonnell Douglas merger, when the company's culture transformed from engineering-driven excellence to profit-focused decision-making. While the commercial aviation crisis was unfolding, Boeing's space division was fighting its own battles. The Starliner program, originally conceived as NASA's reliable alternative to SpaceX's Dragon capsule, began encountering a series of technical setbacks that would prove increasingly costly. In the third quarter alone, Boeing reported $250 million in charges for Starliner. This wasn't an isolated incident. It was part of a pattern that saw the company's defense, space, and security division racking up projected costs of $1.7 billion across multiple programs. The KC-46 A tanker and T-7A trainer aircraft programs joined Starliner in exceeding their budgets, collectively accounting for $1.3 billion in cost overruns. Then came 2020, and with it, a global pandemic that brought the aviation industry to its knees. Airlines canceled or delayed orders, production lines ground to a halt, and Boeing found itself burning through cash at an alarming rate. The company had to implement widespread layoffs cut production rates, and rely on government support just to stay afloat. But even as the world began to recover from COVID-19, Boeing's troubles weren't over. In 2024, a shocking incident involving a new 737 MAX, where a door plug blew out mid-flight, reignited concerns about the company's commitment to safety. Although no lives were lost, the incident prompted fresh investigations and raised serious questions about whether Boeing had truly learned from its past mistakes. Adding to the company's woes, more than 30,000 unionized workers went on strike, bringing production lines to a standstill. The strike, rooted in long simmering disputes over wages and working conditions, exposed deep rifts between Boeing's management and its workforce. Workers spoke of feeling pressure to cut corners, of safety concerns being ignored, and of a corporate culture that seemed increasingly disconnected from the realities of the factory floor. By the first nine months of 2024, the numbers had become impossible to ignore. Boeing was approaching $8 billion in losses, with year-end projections threatening to match the record $12 billion deficit from 2020. 
Credit rating agencies responded with downgrades, while investor confidence plummeted, sending Boeing stock to multi-year lows. This brings us back to Starliner, which has become a symbol of Boeing's broader struggles. While SpaceX's Crew Dragon prepares for its Crew 10 mission in March 2025 and Crew 11 in late summer, Starliner's future remains uncertain. NASA has taken the unprecedented step of delaying Starliner's first crewed mission until after 2025, stating they need to establish a clear path to system certification. Industry analysts are now openly discussing the possibility of Boeing divesting from its space division entirely. Space Capital, a venture firm specializing in space investments, has predicted that both Boeing and Airbus might exit their space divisions by year's end. Such a move would represent a seismic shift in the aerospace landscape, creating opportunities for competitors like Blue Origin and Northrop Grumman, while raising questions about the future of government space partnerships. At the heart of Boeing's crisis lies a fundamental question about corporate culture. Under new CEO Kelly Ortberg, the company has initiated ambitious plans to address its systemic issues. These include strengthening safety protocols, improving communication between management and employees, and implementing leadership training programs focused on ethical decision-making. But transforming a corporate culture isn't like swapping out a faulty component. It requires sustained effort, genuine commitment, and time, something Boeing may be running short on. The company's recent safety incidents suggest that despite public promises of reform, the underlying issues persist. The next four quarters will be critical for Boeing. Financial analysts predict continued losses as the company grapples with the costs of its various crises. The Starliner program alone represents a significant drain on resources, with no clear path to profitability in sight. Yet the stakes extend far beyond Boeing's bottom line. As one of only two major commercial aircraft manufacturers globally, Boeing's struggles have implications for national security, economic stability, and the future of American aerospace innovation. The company that once symbolized American industrial might now serve as a cautionary tale about the dangers of prioritizing short-term profits over long-term sustainability. Behind the financial figures and technical challenges lies a human story. Thousands of Boeing employees, engineers, technicians, assembly workers, come to work each day carrying the weight of their company's reputation. Many speak of feeling torn between pride in Boeing's legacy and concern about its current direction. For the aerospace community, Boeing's situation represents a pivotal moment. The company's struggles raise fundamental questions about the balance between innovation and safety, profit and responsibility, speed and thoroughness. As competitors like SpaceX continue to push boundaries and redefine what's possible in space exploration, Boeing's path forward remains uncertain. CEO Kelly Ortberg faces the monumental task of not just stabilizing Boeing's operations, but rebuilding trust with employees, regulators, customers, and the public. The company has initiated significant projects aimed at cultural change, but these efforts must compete with the immediate pressures of financial recovery and operational stability. Boeing's attempts to balance immediate stabilization with long-term innovation highlight the complexity of their challenge. While the company talks about reducing emissions and enhancing aerospace innovation, it must first address the fundamental issues that have eroded its foundation. This isn't just about fixing technical problems or balancing books. It's about rediscovering the spirit of innovation and commitment to excellence that once made Boeing great. The company's journey from industry leader to struggling giant serves as a powerful reminder that in aerospace, there are no shortcuts to success. As NASA continues to rely heavily on SpaceX for its crewed missions, the question of Starliner's future becomes increasingly pressing. The program, once seen as essential to providing redundancy in America's space capabilities, now faces an uncertain fate. Boeing's decisions in the coming months could reshape not just their own future, but the entire landscape of commercial spaceflight. The story of Boeing's crisis is more than a cautionary tale. It's an ongoing drama that touches on fundamental questions about corporate responsibility, innovation, and the future of American aerospace leadership. As the company fights to regain its footing, the aerospace industry watches closely, 
knowing that the outcome will have far-reaching implications for decades to come. Boeing's story serves as a powerful reminder that even giants can stumble. The coming months will be decisive for the company's space division, with the fate of Starliner hanging in the balance. While SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration, Boeing faces a critical choice, adapt and evolve, or risk being left behind in the new space race. The lessons are clear. Success in aerospace demands more than just technical expertise. It requires a culture of safety, innovation, and unwavering commitment to excellence. As we continue to track these developments at Elon Musk 24 hours, one thing becomes certain. The future of space exploration will belong to those who can balance ambition with responsibility. If you want to stay updated on this evolving story and other breaking news in space exploration, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. Don't forget to drop your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about Boeing's future in space? Hit that like button if you found this analysis helpful and share it with anyone interested in the future of space exploration. This is Elon Musk 24 hours, keeping you informed about the latest developments in the space industry. The dawn of commercial space stations is here, and SpaceX is leading the charge. In just a few months, the legendary Falcon 9 rocket will embark on one of its most ambitious missions yet, launching the world's first commercial space station, Haven 1. This isn't just another satellite deployment or cargo run. This is the moment private enterprise takes its biggest step toward making space accessible to more than just government astronauts. The story begins in the heart of California, where a bold startup called Vast has spent the last four years meticulously crafting something extraordinary. While the aging International Space Station enters its twilight years, Vast and SpaceX have been quietly revolutionizing what a space station can be. They're not just building a replacement, they're reimagining human presence in orbit. Today we're taking you behind the scenes of this groundbreaking project. You'll discover how a small team of visionaries is transforming space station design from its luxurious interior that rivals high-end hotels to breakthrough technology that could change how we live and work in space. And with the launch window opening in August 2025, we're closer than ever to seeing this dream become reality. Hi everyone, welcome back to Elon Musk 24 Hours. If you're new here and want to stay updated on the biggest developments in commercial space, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to 100,000 subscribers and your support means everything to us. Let's dive right in. In the sprawling industrial heart of Long Beach, California, something revolutionary is taking shape. Inside vast manufacturing facility, skilled technicians work around the clock, their precision tools crafting the components that will become humanity's first commercial home among the stars. The primary structure of Haven One isn't just another piece of aerospace hardware, it's the foundation of a new era in space exploration. Just last month, on a crisp January morning in Mojave, California, the team achieved a crucial milestone. The qualification unit of Haven 1 arrived at the test site, a full-scale replica that would prove the station's ability to withstand the brutal forces of launch and the harsh reality of space. Each weld, each joint, each connection must be perfect. There's no room for error when you're building humanity's future home in orbit. But Haven 1 is more than just a feat of engineering. This is where vast vision truly shines. Gone are the sterile, utilitarian interiors we've come to expect from space stations. Instead, picture warm maplewood veneer panels lining the walls, creating an atmosphere that feels more like a luxury sky lodge than a scientific outpost. At the heart of the station, a stunning dome window stretches over a meter wide, offering astronauts an unparalleled view of our blue marble below. Drew Fusel, a veteran astronaut who's commanded the ISS, has been instrumental in shaping Haven One's design. Having spent countless nights in space, he understands better than most the challenges of living in zero gravity. Sleep is everything up there, Fusel explains, and while floating weightless feels amazing at first, your body craves that earthly comfort of pressure against your back. That's why Vast developed a revolutionary sleep system. 
a queen-size bed that uses carefully calibrated pressure to simulate the feeling of gravity, helping astronauts get the rest they need to perform at their best. The station's common area is where science meets luxury. In a space spanning 24 cubic meters, about a quarter the size of the ISS's destiny module, crews will find thoughtful touches that make extended stays not just bearable, but enjoyable. A retractable table transforms from a workstation to a dining area, while the resistance band exercise system ensures astronauts can maintain their strength in microgravity. And thanks to SpaceX's Starlink system, astronauts will stay connected to loved ones back on Earth with high-speed internet access. But make no mistake, beneath its luxurious exterior, Haven One is first and foremost a 